One of the things that we see quite commonly at Caring Medical is irritating itching, which is one of the strange sensations that we see. One of the earliest cases that I saw of this was my reflexologist, Sarah, who I went to her for years. Reflexology for me, it just really helped balance my nervous system and she was awesome at it. And she contacted me one time and said she had this horrific itching in both uh, arms and she had went to doctors and nobody seemed to help her. And then of course I asked her, do, do, you know, do you have any dizziness? Do you have any clicking? Do you have any grinding in her neck? And of course she said yes. And it's like, Sarah, you have cervical instability and it's the cervical instability causing the itching. After about four visits, she was fine. She had no more itching down her arms. And then she's been fine for whatever, 10, 10 plus years or more. Itching can just be from any type of nerve irritation. Now, the term that they use in medicine for itching is called pruritus. So you could have not uh, sciatica, you could have lumbar radicular pruritus. Like in other words, there's the sciatic nerve is getting irritated, but it actually causing itching of the leg. Or in the arm, it's called brachial radial pruritus or brachial pruritus. And if it's uh, if, it, if it involves the neck, it's often called cervical pruritus. So this particular person had just left side of the body. So obviously, if somebody had itching on the whole left side of the body, then the problem has to be coming from the neck. So in that particular case, we did a digital motion x-ray. The digital motion x-ray saw showed a bunch of uh, instability on the left side of the body, especially the uh, left side of the neck, especially in the C1, C2 region, we did prolotherapy, stabilize the neck, then the left body itching went away. So any type of focal localized, even to one side of the body, the condition is caused by a local nerve irritation. So you have to follow the nerve distribution so in this particular person, it was the neck. But again, if it just involves the leg, then you would look at instability in the lower back. The most common irritating itchings that a doctor's office like ours would see would be the arms, and that is caused by cervical instability. There are times that people have whole body itching, and whole body itching often is caused by uh, the vagus nerve not resolving systemic inflammation. So when I'm talking about whole body itching, of course, I'm talking about a structural cause of the person having itching all over their body. I'm not talking about somebody who has liver disease and they have a lot of bilirubin in their body and then that, of course, is, can cause terrible itching. Now the vagus nerve, this just shows some of the pathophysiology of it, but the vagus nerve ultimately helps control inflammation in the body. So unexplained itching over the whole body, you gotta consider that you have cervical vagopathy. So some of the other symptoms of cervical vagopathy are fullness in the ear, swallowing difficulties, head pressure sometimes, dizziness, heart palpitations. So somebody who has itching and some of those symptoms, you have to think of, wow, they got cervical instability, most likely upper cervical instability. So that's the most common reason that I see somebody having whole body itching. Then of course the treatment is evaluating the person for upper cervical instability or cervical instability by digital motion x-ray. And then if that's found, then initiate a course of prolotherapy Prolotherapy are injections that stimulate the body to repair the painful areas. It does so by tightening and thickening the ligaments. Then we do repeat digital motion x-rays to make sure that the instability is resolved. Then of course, as the instability is resolving, the itching goes away. And of course, you start seeing smiles on the people's faces because nobody wants an irritating itch.